Hello everyone. So it's a minute till. Figured I'd just hop on a minute early. Um, and let you guys hop on. So what I'm going to make tonight is, whoops, hold on, is three ingredient and cake for seven minutes. It's lava cake. Hi. So three ingredient lava cake in seven minutes. So um, you don't need a big can. I took pictures, so I'll post them um, as soon as I'm done. But you can use a soda of your choice. I just picked Coke because I'm pregnant and this is what I crave. Uh, whatever box of chocolate you would like, cake mix, and a thing of icing. Um, someone made a Funfetti lava cake with this on my page, and I thought that was a really cool thing to do. So what we're going to use tonight is we're going to use the Rock Rock. Remember, this is the pan that was um, featured on in the party already. You can use the microwave, the stove, the oven. The broiler, which I just found out in doing this party. <laughs> you can put it in the microwave. You can cook it on the grill or use it on the grill as well. I think that's really cool. And it has a slow cooker stand, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, to go with it. These come in three different sizes, and they also come with them with a grill, um, a round grill stone, which I think is really cool. All right. So I'm going to dump the cake mix in first. Well, let me try and get y'all adjusted so you can see me better. Have dinner leftovers sitting on the counter for my kids not eating their dinner. Let's see. I'm working on getting a better scope for you guys. Okay. So use that. Alright, you have this. Alright, so this is the cake mix. Scissors, just some scissors. Hot scissors. Alright. We're going to dump this into the rock crop. out about this recipe probably about five or six years ago. Um, my mother-in-law's diabetic. Hi! Um, my mother-in-law was diabetic and so they got a um, sugar-free cake mix and they got sugar-free soda to use and that's how she made her cakes and that's how she was able to eat cake which is pretty cool. All right so you don't need the whole thing you just need a, a smaller can. The smaller can? I can't remember. But I got this because it was the only thing that I, I could find. I only dumped half of it in here. Alright. I'm going to use a spatula and I'm just going to mix it real quick. It doesn't take long because the bubbles uh, mix it pretty good. So you don't have to do too much mixing. You just got to scrape the sides. I think this is pretty cool because this is actually one of my favorite cakes that I make and it's just a lava cake. Um, this is what I learned to make right when I started Pampered Chef. It's pretty neat. Alright, so there you go. All mixed up. There's still some chunks in it but that's okay. They'll bubble out. Ah. Alright. All right, just make sure. Okay, we're good. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna scrape that off. Yum, it tastes so good. Even with just the Coke and the, the cake mix. Mm. Ah. All right. I'm gonna pull this out. 
did not think about what I'm going to set it on. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out of, oops, see this? So I'm pulling this out of my uh, tinsel holder, which is pretty cool. All right, I'll put that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to open up my, oops, my icing, and it's just chocolate icing from the store. You can get, like, the cheap kind if you want to. don't need a whole thing um, some people do use the whole thing I do not so you just take uh, spoonfuls and you just plop them in wherever you want in here and you do this however you want uh, bigger Pumps or uh, smaller around more of the edges. My kids love this so much. They're going to take it to school with them tomorrow. And tomorrow is a half day, and then they have off on Monday for Labor Day. They are super excited. All right. There you go. Yes, you. Yes, you. So good. Bless you, bless you. I usually don't eat cake. This is really yummy. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to turn you around. So you have the cake mix and the soda mixed together. And then you have your clumps and lumps of awesome um, icing. Okay. for seven minutes. So during the seven minutes, I'm gonna show you something cool about the the rock rock. All right, so I told you it comes in several sizes. I have two of the sizes. Hi. Mine is super dusty because I haven't used it in about several months. Um, I use my quick cooker instead. So you, there's the lid for that one. Um, this is the the four quart. So this is the two quart and this is the four quart. This also fits in the, our slow cooker setting, which this is, I have two of these. I, I use both of them. Mine's a mess because I use it all, this one all the time. This one sits on my counter. But this is the slow cooker stand for it. I love it, it's so small and compact. The cord's even short. Um, turn it a little bit more. So you can just sit it down in there. So the best thing about the rock crocs are you can put them in the microwave, you can put them on the stove, and the oven. Um, I learned just recently uh, you can put them in the broiler, which I thought was really cool because I did not know that. Although I don't use my broiler. And you can use them on the grill. So they had campfire in. Uh, a state um, out west and people were posting pictures of um, their rock crocs were the only thing that survived it was really sad but um, home office is amazing for pampered chef and they replaced it so I thought that was really really cool all right we have about five minutes left so I showed you that but that was really cool let me put this back real quick I'll be using this soon. I make applesauce, apple butter, pumpkin butter. I learned how to make in here last year. Um, also, I'm probably gonna make jam in this. I'm super excited. And they all go as gifts. I don't eat any of it. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys tonight is going to be super, super easy. This is what Renee is trying to earn from her party. So shout out to Renee for hosting this party. Ah. 
This is the. Oh my God. Maybe a little. I hope that stays. All right, mine's plugged in. So yeah. Let's try this. Ha! Huh, that works better. All right. So this is the quick cooker. This is what Renee is trying to earn from this party. So you can earn it this month as a host um, and next month as a host as well. I think that's really, really cool. Um, so this is basically the Paper Chef version of the Instapot. Sorry, my belly's like popped out today. Um, so this is the Instapot, or this is the quick cooker. Um, this is really easy to use. Um, the only difference between this and the Instapot is in the back here on the top is where the release button or the the release valve is and then the release button is in the middle your hand is going nowhere near the release valve which I think is really cool because I know that several people have burned themselves using the Instapot I've never had an Instapot I didn't even know what Instapot was until like a month before I got my quick cooker <laughs> um so I hope you guys can hear that cool sound right you just lift it up and it makes noise this is the lid see this is where the button is and this is the back of it and this is the re steam release valve I think that's really cool just press that and it pops out so easy and then even has here and if this thing is up there we go. if this is up this cannot be touched or released you cannot open it it clicks in place so you cannot open it only other difference is ours can make bread so I have two minutes left ours can make bread which I think is really cool can make dough and I think that's really cool too so anyway so what you do is um, there is several uh, there's no buttons it's just this one little thing you just turn it so there's sear steam slow cook proof proof is for bread you can make yogurt too people make that all the time there's chicken beef pork um, fish, seafood, soup, and stock. I use the soup and stock a lot in this, and I make taco soup. And then dessert. So, I know the Instapot can make cheesecake. This can, too. I've made it several times. Different textures come out. It just really depends on the day. <laughs> I've had jokes. I got jokes. Um, beans, stew, and chili. And I do use the chili button a lot. Um, you have the keep warm, cancel button. And then you have the start custom time and the pressure and then you can uh, adjust your times here all right I have one minute left so there's several accessories that go to this this is the spring form pan for the cheesecake this is the rubber silicone lid Oops. for this for the ceramic pot is the ceramic pot. Alright, this is the holders for it to pull it out real easy. These are the rubber things that I use to pull them out. These are also Pampered Chef. I love them. And this is the stand that goes on top of it. So you put this in first, the bottom of the metal bowl, and then you put this on top. Just like so. I think that's really cool. Super easy to use. I love it. I use it all the time. I make ribs in here a lot. But right now I'm just storing it because I haven't used it this week. And everything stores really neatly in here. Now there's other accessories to it. Um, one of them are, some of them are the, um, they have a, a flat pan with holes in it for eggs. My minute is up. Okay. So let's get this down. Let's see how this tastes. Alright, so you just saw these. I love these little grippers. I do so much with them. I'm 
gonna turn you guys around. And that is what it looks like. So very, very yummy. All right, I'm gonna let you guys watch me cut into this beautiful thing. You get a plate real quick. <clears throat> Free plate. Check. Ouch. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, let's try to find something else. Um, where did my spatula go? I just had it. Oh, I use it for lasagna tonight. All right, it's okay. We can use this. These are our bamboo spoons. I love these things. All right. <coughs> Cutting it in fourths. And cut a piece. Oops, wrong side. See the, the icing coming out of it? So gooey. See all the goo? Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Ah. All the gooeyness. Alright. I'm going to let you see the inside of it real quick. Where's my scraper real quick? This is our cake tester and scraper. I love this thing, I use it every single day, literally. I make breakfast for my kids every morning and I use it like it's no one's business. So it just stays on my counter now. All right, baby, you want some lava cake? Okay. All right, put these aside real quick. I'll let you see inside of it and see all the icing on the bottom it's really cool <laughs> turn you around maybe that'll be better there you go see all that the cake on top beautifully so there you go seven minute cake with three ingredients that easy I hope you guys have a wonderful party. The party goes on for another week. I'm super excited because she wanted two weeks, and I said, we'll make it work. And I'm super excited because I have so much planned for next week. And this week, if my craziness of a baby does not go anywhere. <laughs> um, so I will see you guys in a couple days. I'll probably go live once more. So I hope you guys enjoy your night. Have a great Labor Day weekend. Be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye.